so grateful for everybody who participated in the um, annual meeting, either at church or there in the congregation or on Zoom. Um, I, I'm so glad you did it. We're trying to figure out how we do this in the time of COVID. So thanks for participating in that. And I just wanted to bring just a couple points of clarification before too much time um, had passed. We had some really good questions regarding our adult discipleship. Um, during the budget discussion, um, there were questions about adult Sunday school. And it's hard to remember, but back in December of uh, 2019 and moving into 2020, we switched our Sunday school, both the children's, the children's time, um, to be concurrent with our worship service in the morning. So the adult Sunday school had, um, was put on pause, and we had the hope of starting small groups that would be able to meet that need. Um, at the initiative, at the really exciting initiative of um, several members of our congregation, we're going to be starting some adult Sunday school at 9.30 in the morning. It'll go from 9.30 to 10.30, beginning on January 10th. So what we're, what we're focusing on, and I really think the pandemic has, has demanded that we focus this way, is on discipleship. That we want to be a church of disciples who make disciples. We want to be people who are learning everything we can from God's Word and then putting it into practice. We want to be in connected relationships um, where I frequently have said, well, we have one that we're following who's investing into us, two that are walking side by side or two to go, and then one that we are um, seeking to invest in, one to show. So one to follow, two to go, one to show. And the idea is that we would be in committed relationships with each other, learning the scriptures and, and then putting it into practice. So with that in mind, we launched our small groups um, in the midst of COVID. And we're so excited that I think we had maybe 30 to 40% of our congregation uh, participating in that, whether it was in person or on Zoom. What our goal is, is to have 100% of our congregation involved in small groups um, that would meet during the week and that those small groups would be connected with our worship services and the themes of the preaching and so on. And so we, we want to really continue with that initiative. Um, but we are going to be having um, an adult Sunday school opportunity um, for, at 9.15 in the morning, um, beginning on January 10th. So wanted to clarify that, that Sunday school small groups, one-on-one -on -one discipleship is going to be the core of what we are about as a church. And we'll, we'll give more focus and more explanation about that as we get into um, 2021. Um, that'll become our new normal. Also, there was, a, there was some questions that came up while I was out of the room um, dealing with um, personnel issues. First of all, I am so excited, and we are so excited as a session that Badvili Rosmig will be joining as an interim ministry supply. I know that's a crazy expression, but I want to describe and clarify um, what his three responsibilities will be. Badvili Rosmig will be um, leading the music part of our ministries. So he already has been doing this as a volunteer. Um, he and Chris have been leading our worship teams. And now Badvili Rosmig will take that on in a, in a paid capacity where he will be leading the music of our, of our uh, church. Um, the second role that he will have is in really launching and investing in the ministry to our young adults, to our college students, those who are in the age of post-youth group, um, in their college age or as they're working. And so he is going to be investing um, quite a bit of time and energy in bringing that group together. So we're really looking forward to that. I know he's excited about that. Um, all the elders are excited about the investment that he'll be making um, to not only meet the needs of our young people, but to help equip them so that they can be reaching out as well um, and expressing their, their relationship with Jesus Christ and their love for, their, for others. The third category will be, Badvili Rosmik will be um, assisting me in the delivery and a preparation and delivery of um, several Armenian sermons every month. Um, it's, it's so wonderful for native-speaking Armenians to hear the Armenian message from someone who grew up speaking Armenian. 
I appreciate your support. I appreciate your encouragement. But I know that it's just wonderful to hear Armenian spoken by a native speaker. So we're excited about him having those roles. So those are three things that Badavili Rosby will be doing. This is a part-time position in addition to his role as our as Camp Ida director, serving as an elder in our church. Um, but because he has gifting and an opportunity to help lead out and serve in this way, he'll be leading the music ministry. He'll be spearheading our uh, college age young adults ministry, as well as assisting with the uh, preparation and delivery of several Armenian sermons. Um, I hope that brings clarity. If you have any questions, we would love to have you um, attend our session meetings. We were originally planning our session meeting to be this coming Tuesday, but because we want to give you the opportunity to arrange your schedule on Tuesday the 22nd, I believe, yeah, Tuesday the, the 22nd, we will have our session meeting. It'll start at seven o'clock and we have a, a spot in the meeting where members of the congregation can come, express concerns, ask questions. You know, once a year congregational meeting or twice a year annual meeting, congregational meeting, really doesn't give you the opportunity to participate the way we know you would like to. And so we want to make clear that this is something we invite, we desire, we really want uh, you to participate that way. So if you'd like to come, please let us know. If you can't come but would love to be on Zoom, please let us know that you're interested and we'll send you that link because uh, we'd love to have you to participate. Thanks again for being a part of the congregational meeting. Thanks for watching this video. I know it went a little bit longer, but um, thank you very much. We welcome uh, your participation.